Ever imagine dining on a city sidewalk in a bubble? Well, now you can, and it's a growing trend. Check out one French bistro solution to chilly New York dining. My husband was clever enough to be proactive and to say in July, okay, now it's nice, but the weather's gonna change soon. Let me start making some research. And he found these bubbles. Worked very well because when you're on the one, it's 10 degrees warmer. And then it's, it has like a romantic feel. With 16 bubbles, each sitting up to six guests, they are carefully sanitized after every seating. We're very careful on uh, sanitizing it. We have a gun that sprays after each group. It sprays all disinfectant. And then we open the two flaps, we let the air in, and we clean everything, the chairs, the table. It's, we have someone doing this all night. But the last few months haven't been easy for this seasoned restaurateur. The last few months have been challenging, of course, but um, I think it made us stronger because we've had to hustle. We're hustling with the outside terrace, with the element, with the weather, with customers. Some are scared, some are more confident. So it's really a dance, an everyday dance. We've been through in the restaurant business with a stock market crash in 2008, 9-11, and all these things wind up passing, and this shall also pass. So the only thing that is a little bit worrisome now is we have a lot of fellow restaurateurs who are really struggling. They don't have a big sidewalk like we do. They are maybe midtown with Broadway being shot, with no tourists. And, and ironically, they used to be the one making a lot of money because they did benefit from the tourists and, and the offices midtown, and now they're the ones that are suffering. But I think that the federal government should really help us now getting into the cold weather. This is gonna be very crucial, otherwise there are restaurants that will close and New York City's scene will never be the same. We need to save whoever is left now. Building the outdoor terrace, getting these bubbles, getting plants, getting planters, just always reorganizing has cost us thousands of dollars. There should be a help for that because we have no choice but to comply and we're trying to do the best. So we're helping New York City and New York City needs to help us too. Moving forward with heaters, this bistro hopes to keep the bubbles and neighborhood spirit alive. For NBC New York, I'm Linda Gaudino.